hedonic adaptation and the genesis of PCR cliffhanger technique to the rescue for phaco neophytes no financial disclosure this video has been structured from a phaco neophytes point of view to address their cognitive distortions towards phaco emulsification focal points on how not to approach certain steps in certain ways have been highlighted complications shown in this video were managed effectively by senior surgeons hedonic treadmill means ending up where you actually start that is making the same mistake repeatedly young surgeons are caught up in this vicious mental cycle of pcr in phaco emulsification hindering their growth so how do we break the hedonic cycle take one surgery isn't over until it's over the worst complication a phaco neophyte can make is not pcr with nucleus drop but it is rather pcr with iul drop in this scenario PCR is caused by the leading haptic of a three piece IOL during insertion. Posterior capsule may sometimes be very fragile and give way just like a bubble on touch. Take 2 cliffhanger for neophytes. When PCR happens during the time of insertion of three piece foldable lens, we obviously would love to reverse time and prevent it from happening. But in reality, what we can really do is voluntarily inject the trailing haptic at the incision site and make the iul hang like a cliffhanger to prevent iul drop before calling a senior surgeon for help cliffhanger technique may lend a helping hand for neophytes when their back is against the wall and they have nothing to lose as shown in this mission impossible video take 3 rescuing the cliffhanger basic retrieving steps like securing the iul over the iris can be done to prevent iul drop secure the trailing cliffhanging haptic with forceps and give gentle posterior dabs over the posterior optic near the leading optic haptic junction to bring the optic of the iul over the iris followed by bringing the leading haptic over the iris once iul has been secured the pc status can be assessed If found stable with a good and intact anterior capsule, IOL can be placed over sulcus after good vitrectomy. This is an animation showing IOL placed in a sulcus in such a situation. Take 4 without the cliffhanger technique. If the leading haptic of the three piece IOL had caused a PCR and the surgeon proceeds to inject the optic and trailing haptic into the eye rather than withdrawing the cartridge and injecting the trailing haptic at the incision site predominantly an iul drop will happen and the neophyte will lose surgical confidence as shown in this video further maneuvers trying to rescue it will add fuel to fire this is an animation of the iul drop without the cliffhanger technique take 5 rotate the nucleus well before phaco emulsification This is an animation showing good rotation of the nucleus after hydro dissection followed by an uneventful phaco emulsification. This animation shows cheese wiring rather than rotation due to which the rotation didn't happen. If one failed to notice it, PCR will inadvertently happen during phaco emulsification. This is a real time scenario where the neophyte failed to judge the improper rotation maneuver. It was more of cheese wiring of nucleus due to its soft nature rather than rotation. So, few moments later, when phaco emulsification was attempted, posterior capsule ruptures due to punching, as shown by the red arrow. Not panicking is the key here to minimize vitreous disturbance. Before pulling the phaco probe out anxiously and calling a senior surgeon, with the left hand, eye molecular weight viscoelastic should be filled into the anterior chamber. followed by reducing the bottle height to decrease the irrigation flow rate a meticulous phaco emulsification should be attempted followed by careful cortex aspiration then the extent of pc damage should be inspected following a thorough vitrectomy if there is vitreous disturbance if the pc rent seems unstable iul can be placed in the sulcus as shown here this is the post op picture of the patient take 6 Start well before surgery. Avoid blunt instruments. While attempting the side port at three o'clock position, the surgeon feels the difficulty in penetration. Still, if proceeded with the same instrument at nine o'clock position, 
with no control a punch is made in the anterior capsule warranting extra concentration during capsular excess at that clock hour take 7 mindfulness can cause wonders during surgery this situation mimics an eye within an eye pattern and on a mystic level one may feel the tissue trying to communicate with the surgeon on a different dimension take 8 Never let your guard down as rexes can run away even in the last clock hour if such a situation arises use forceps to retrieve it for better control rather than a cystitome take 9 avoid these steps during early days beginners should avoid inserting the pcil upside down into the bag if done so then with two sinski hooks the iol can be flipped within the bag like the dosa shown here in this video Flipping single piece IOL is relatively easier than a three piece IOL. Take 10. Avoid polishing during early days. This is a well done case by your neophyte, but just before completion due to dehiscence, the PC gives way during polish, complicating the whole surgery and pulling the neophyte back into the hedonic treadmill of PCR. Once the hedonic wheel is broken, new heights can be achieved. where the surgeon may be more comfortable with phacoemulsification so whenever a difficult ssas situation like the one shown here arises where the ssas wound was very premature and weak causing the iris to continuously prolapse during surgery the surgeon may secure the ssas wound with sutures and be able to convert and perform an excellent and uneven full phacoemulsification with ease providing fruitful results by breaking the hedonic treadmill or hedonic adaptation of posterior capsular rupture a neophyte undergoes evolution into a surgeon oozing with tremendous confidence final take mickey mouse polar cataract pcr management by pc rexes in this scenario pc rent happened due to pc dehiscence and polar nature of the cataract the unstable pc rent was now converted into a stable posterior capsular excess for achieving in the bag iol implantation for accurate results with good centration this is the post op picture of the patient on slit lamp by breaking the hedonic cycle of pcr a new world of wonder and joy awaits Thank you.